NASCAR Mobile, the official app of NASCAR puts race coverage and live in-car cameras right at your fingertips. As part of Fan Appreciation Weekend, get access to all the premium features for free this weekend only. Download now at NASCAR.com slash mobile. Cars still being pushed out onto the grid, and we just heard from Casey Mears talking a little bit about his situation. And, and Steve, you said it kind of struck you. Is that very accurate? Yeah, yeah, Casey said that basically after all of that practice, they still need to go back and trust their notes, trust their simulation, trust their tools. And when you look at a schedule, much like Richmond, where you have all the practice during the day and you now qualify in, I'll call it dusk, but race in the evening, it's really a lot about that notebook, but you have to believe it because it seems like, Jeff, even though you write it down, you come back months later to the racetrack and you've learned more and you just think maybe that still doesn't apply. But in, in my history, I've learned when I believe in my notes and what the track's going to do, normally you can set a pretty good course on, on what changes you need to make your race career. You have to trust the trend of the track. It's just how do you take what practice you had today and what changes you made and apply those right changes to what you think the track, the track is going to do. And that is way more difficult than it sounds. Let's go back to the grid, Dave Burns. 15th and final practice was Trevor Bain. Talk to us about the challenges on this track, which is still hot and uh, getting a little bit of shade now for first round. Well, it is still hot. Uh, for 545, you'd hope it'd be cooling down some, but it's not quite cool yet. Uh, but I feel really good about our Advocare Ford this weekend. It's got some speed in it. Uh, I feel like Darlington, we had some speed, got a little bit more this weekend, and that's something we've struggled for at Richmond uh, is the short run speed. We've always been able to get our cars to drive decent, have good Ford drive for the long run, uh, which is the biggest struggle here is making sure your car will last over that 20 to 50 lap run uh, to make sure you got the Ford drive, you got the car tied up in. But our car's actually got a little bit of both. It's got the short run speed, long run speed. Uh, I feel like we have some potential to make it to the final round here in this qualifying session. So uh, now I just got to go do my job. No more important short run than the one coming up, Marty. Dave, career start number 500 for Jamie McMurray this weekend. So uh, does that make you feel old or does that make you just feel seasoned? Uh, a little bit of both. Uh, when I see Jeff Burton, I feel younger. So that makes me uh, makes it a little bit better. Um, but yeah, it's a, that's a lot of starts. It's kind of cool. I saw that sticker above my uh, above my name there, or beside my name. It's uh, it's went by really fast, honestly. Uh, I remember I saw Matt Kinseth had his uh, 600 start a while back, and we were talking about it. It's, uh, it goes by faster than you think. That was very good of you to get a shot at Jeff Burton in, by the way, really quick, too. Yeah, he, uh, well, I really like Jeff Burton, so I can say things like that. We're, we're pretty good friends uh, away from the track, even. Uh, but our, our Sherwin-Williams Emerald Chevy's been good all weekend, and, and uh, that's, that's important for us. This is a big weekend trying to get in a chase. Um, and, and both the Ganassi cars were really good in, in the first practice, the, the 42 and the 1. So we're going to go try to get three good sessions in here, get us a good starting position, and then, uh, then go watch the Xfinity race later. A pressure-packed weekend for Jamie McMurray and his team, yet he still finds time to make fun of you, Jeff. Got to love that. Yeah, Marty, just reminding that I have the microphone at all times, so I will get the last word in. As I was thinking of the, the term uh, with friends like that, who needs enemies? I was impressed Jeff had friends. <laughs> That's a problem. That's all I got of friends I have. We look on board with Casey Mears at the thermometer and over 100 degrees right now, and they haven't started the cars. That's prior to the cars starting up and the heat really building inside these things. Well, 101 is, is a little toasty to be at the beach, but Casey Mears is wearing far from a swimsuit. I mean, he has not just this multi-layer fire suit on, but usually some fire retardant underwear underneath it to protect him multiple layers for a driver so it uh, plus i can't see a lot of air being circulated around him in that tight fitting uh seat there jeff and if you look at the top of his helmet there's no helmet hose they don't have a cooler in there because that's weight they don't want any additional weight in the car want everything they can be for to be faster for this qualifying session